given to the students. Uh, they knew their normalized score. They knew the eligibilities. We had also come out with the preference list, which was being updated every two hourly. So they could gauge where they stand. We opened the platform various times for them to reorder their preferences. We also came out with a simulated rank through which they could gauge where they stand and then again reorder their preferences. So, you know, after doing so many rounds and so many webinars and so many uh, press releases that we came out to help the candidates, I firmly believe that, you know, uh, students who have availed of all these facilities would have done, uh, would have taken their choices uh, uh, according to their vision, I, I firm, because, you know, I just gathered that approximately 9,000 students have got their first preference. Right. So this is huge. If right. 9,000 Also, for, the, for, for those, I mean, for, for people who perhaps don't have access to, say, uh, you know, these facilities because the entire process is online now. So are those, I mean, is the process fair to them also? So we've uh, set up various help desk at our branch. The help desk are also available at all the colleges. We've also put up grievance committee in a very sequential manner. Mm -hmm. There is a grievance committee at every college, 67 colleges, every college has a help desk and the grievance committee. Our branch is also working very hard. We have a centralized grievance committee. We have an email ID where students are writing to us and every mail is being answered within 24 hours. We have landline numbers on which they can come in, on which they can talk to us. We also have a chatbot facility. So all these provisions were put into place to help the candidates and respond to their queries. Right.